What's going on guys? Just going here the brain of the guys today coming at you with some more Zetsu Onoshima. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the skull of Nan Sapway or Sapwe Sapway. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, so it's pretty it's pretty awesome. It's like another wonder weapon. So right out of spawn if you come up here just like this little altar area. I don't know what, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you see these like apothecan symbols. Uh, that one would be three two one. So there's a row of three. There's a row of two and there's a row of, of one one symbol if that makes sense. Um, that's how I remember them. And uh, I heard a couple people uh, using it like that, so that's how I remember it. So there's basically four statues across the map. There's one in spawn. There's one in uh, the, the rocket propeller area here. Uh, not the rocket, the airplane propeller, sorry. That, that's the one I'm going at right now. And uh, there's one by the docks, which uh, you can either take a zip line to from, uh, from lab A, or you can uh, get to from uh, downstairs uh, in the bunker by power. You, you guys will see it after. And uh, the last one is downstairs where we actually build the KT4 in the bunker. Uh, so those are the four locations. So, um, yeah. So, basically, all these zombies are going to spawn out of these little green portals. you got to keep them away from the statue, from the skull, or they're going to mess it up and you're going to have to redo it. So, um, just, yeah, make, make sure they stay away from it. That, that's your objective. Uh, obviously... You're going to want to do this either if you, uh, okay, hold on. First of all, once it's done, the skull is going to drop. There's not going to be any more light. The skull is going to be white instead of blood red. You can pick it up and you have to return it back to where you found it. Uh, but like I was saying, um, it's highly recommended doing this as early rounds as possible or getting one of those plants that can hold a zombie. Uh, that's what I did. I will cover that in another video if you guys don't know how to do that. Uh, but like you see there, I returned the clean skull. I grabbed the next one. And again, look at those apothecan symbols and uh, kind of find uh, whichever statue that it coordinates with. And that's the, the one you have to place it in. So now this is going to be spawn. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing. I'm just going to cut, uh, cut out the gameplay because, I mean, you guys get the idea. Um, but they do get a little bit harder. And uh, at some points, thrashers can spawn, so just keep that in mind. So that one right there was 3-3, three, three, and that one I call 1-1, one, one, uh, you know, as far as the symbols go. So we're just going to speed it up here in the bunker, going all the way back. So you can see the power was right there. To the left, right here is the docks, and uh, that's where the third statue is going to be. And uh, so, yeah, so do it again here, and you can see in just a second right there, there's a thrasher that spawns. So, I mean, obviously, just take care of that. Uh, it's really good to have the KT-4 for, this, uh, for the, these, these sections. Um, I'm, I'm sure you could do it without it, but it's it would be a lot harder. So anyways, once you do that one again, return the third skull and grab the last fourth bloody skull and uh, you got to go clean it. You got to go clean them up. So we're going to return to the bunker, but we're going all the way downstairs this time. So you're going to pass pack a punch in the pack punch room. You're going to go behind pack punch. This is the room with all like the, uh, the test experiments, if you will, the creepy, uh, you know, experiments, the people that got experimented on in the, in the canister things, whatever you want to call it. And uh, down here, right by the KT4, you see, see in the back there, there's the KT4 ta uh, table, the uh, crafting table. Uh, this is where we're gonna be, the last one's going to be. And it's kind of it's kind of hard, man, because it's, it's really cramped in this area. And I, f I feel like the most zombies spawn in this area. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be fourth ones. So just be very careful. Like I said, the KT4 helps a lot. It helps a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, if you have a pack punch weapon for a secondary, that'd, that'd be helpful. But uh, do it however you want. So once you place the fourth one back in, this tree is going to be, it's going to vanish. It's going to lift. It's going to go away. And it's going to open up this little downstairs area that you can come in. Now, um, what you have to do is start this ritual. There's a little skull in the middle. You got to go up to it, press square. I didn't do it right now because I had all these zombies coming at me. And uh, I wasn't I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So I came back and I had a spider round and I activated it right away as soon as the spider round ended. And uh, so you can see it's kind of like a keeper round. All right. So it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like in Origins or in in uh, Shadows of Evil, the rituals. It, it's something like that. So you got to keep you got to keep killing the keepers. And uh, I, I don't know if you have to keep them away. All I know is that when you kill them, it fills up the skull. So either way, you got to kill them. Uh, so keep killing them until they're all killed. And then the skull is going to be done and you're going to be able to pick it up. And uh, see, so I'll just show you guys all the gameplay here. We're almost done. I believe this is the last one. No, there's two more here. Uh, and, no, this is the last one. No. Okay, I don't know, man. There's a few of them. This one. Yeah, okay, there we go. So then you can go up to it and pick it up once that's done. And you now have the skull of Nan Sapwee. Now, the crazy thing is I was around 25. All the zombies started spawning. Uh, I guess they didn't spawn and got blocked off. They, they weren't spawning inside, so I was safe to do the ritual. But as soon as I was done, 
uh, they started spawning. I actually downed myself not not sh not long after this. So this is literally the only gameplay I got with it. So if you push L2, it freezes them. If you push R2, it basically makes them explode just like that. So it's pretty cool. But you have to be kind of like in the line of sight. So it's kind of like in uh, Nuketown Zombies. Uh, not, not Nuketown Zombies. Nuketown Easter Egg, where you have the mannequin zombies, where they turn around. They have to be uh, they have to be like that. So keep that in mind, my friends. Um, that's one thing to consider. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty uh, pretty awesome. A little uh, weapon. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you build this skull of Nan Sapway. And uh, hopefully that helped you guys out. If you guys did find this informative, make sure you drop a like. It'd be very very much appreciated, my friends. And uh, if you guys have any questions, if you need any more help. Don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. But let's go wrap it up for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smack that like button, subscribe to the comment, share, and all that awesome stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And like always, until then, game on.